Guys, what you're about to see is, a, I think, a really important piece of content around uh, a group of students that are kind of assembling themselves across the country to try to petition schools and politicians to give them some money back since they're no longer having the same experience in the university system. They're in isolation, classes are canceled, they're doing everything online, they have no access to a lot of the things that they paid for. Uh, so they're trying to figure out how to get some money back or to get some credit for the next semester. And this is just a great brainstorm session about how I think about creating a movement, how I think about using social media to get a message out there and involve other other change makers and influencers as well as local communities to actually make that happen. So enjoy this. Uh, I think it'll bring a lot of value to any of you that are trying to think through how to organize something during this time of Corona. Stay safe guys. Sending you a lot of love. Okay guys, so as you know, I had a conversation recently with Ryan on the phone and he talked about different strategies that we could employ for marketing and social media tactics to get the outreach out there. Um, he also gave us a lot of advice regarding, I guess you could say, like how we present ourselves, the mission, um, like I said, different strategies. So I wanted him to come in today to talk to us all about those strategies we talked about. I referred to you guys the voice memo. I hope that you all listen to it um, to kind of get on board with what he's, what he's going to talk about. Um, but in, in other words, Audrey's going to come on as the social media kind of networking person. Um, I'm so, I'm so glad she's coming on with us. Um, so Brian, she is all ears and we are all ears for you to hear what you have to say. Cool. So, um, first of all, guys, best of, best of luck with this in initiative. I think it's, I think it makes a lot of sense, you know, uh, things have changed for students. So trying to get, uh, some some money back for the semester because it's a different experience or trying to get some money for the next semester uh credited to you i think makes a lot of sense um I, what i shared with josh yesterday is like the, there's a lot of power that you have within a social media campaign and within social media in it in, in and of itself and there are several different ways that you can go about doing this and so and I, I'll, I'll really quickly review what I said in the in the voice memo, and then I kind of want to open up to questions and and help as much as I can with 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 whatever you guys are thinking about, because um, you can listen to the voice memo again when I'm not on the call. But I think that there's you know having a very clear thing that you want to do, which is we want to get signatures, we want to get people to sign their name, their email. Um, we're not asking for money. We're just literally asking people to, to sign a petition so that we can go to local politicians and, and, and lobby for some money back or some credit for the next semester. Um, and, and I think that the way that you do that is there's there's different ways to do it on social media. But the most important thing is that every piece of content that you guys put out into the social media world, there needs to be a very clear uh, ask, right? Which is sign our petition link in bio, sign our petition link here, depending on where you're playing in Facebook or in Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube or wherever else you are. Um, but it has to be very clear. All you can get really creative with the video content. It can be, you know, you talking about, uh, you know, how you're being affected in your city or your state. It can be talk about how your sister or your brother's experiencing it. It can talk about be talking about a lot of different things. But at the end of the day, it needs to be a very clear ask of people. Go to my link, sign the petition. That's it. And then, then, then from there, uh, there's a lot of different creative ways that you can find more people and more groups. And the one of the things I said yesterday, to Josh, is like. Go and, and, and once you create a video, and really you just need like a video, and, and you can then start dropping it into other Facebook groups. There are a lot of groups out there with students. There are a lot of groups out there with educators, um, with people that are in higher education that want to know uh, that, that, that their voices are being heard. And so what you can do is you can literally make a video that just says, hey, we're, go we're living through a really interesting time right now. Uh, obviously, we're not having the same college experience that we're used to. Because of that, we're asking for some money back and we're gonna drop it into this group and then all of a sudden you're in that group and that group is now distributing your message again the important thing is every piece of content that you guys put out there has to have a pretty clear uh call to action so that when you drop it into a facebook group that people don't know who you are they know where to go to sign the petition 
Um, and then the other thing I would, that I was telling Josh yesterday is using Instagram is going to be really helpful because you can go and you can hashtag all kinds of different things. Hashtag college debt. Hashtag debt during Corona. Hashtag college life during Corona. Hashtag cor and then you can go in there and you can find what's called Instagram influencers. And these are just people that have some following, whether it be 3,000 people, 100,000 people, a million people. And what you do when you go into like hashtag, I'm making this up, but this is the idea. Um, hashtag... Um, coronavirus affecting students you can go in there and you can see there's a there's the newest posts and there's most popular posts and on the newest post you can see the newest posts that that literally are the newest posts the people that are posting most recently and there are the most popular posts which are the posts where people have po posted with that hashtag and they've gotten a lot of engagement and then what i would do is let's just say josh is one of the people that posts josh has eight thousand followers on instagram uh, he posted something and it's the most popular post has 322 likes 28 comments I would literally go to Josh Josh's profile and I would write him a direct message and say hey I'm Brian. I'm heading this spearheading this of uh, this initiative um, We want to get this this petition signed so we can take it to Congress take it to lobbyists take it to legislators Would you be willing to share it with your community? Uh, most people won't respond um, but then some people will and when they respond they they will say yes I'll do it for you for free or no I won't do it for you unless you pay me and then in which case you guys as this collective can decide if that makes sense for you to go ahead and, and spend some money on that to get the initiative out I don't know what kind of marketing budget you pay you're playing with the other thing hey, I think, hey Brian yeah can I just interrupt one second sure if if they find the top 10 influencers yep. and say that they were to spin this, let me just put my PR side on this and tell me if you think it's worth it. Sure. If, if they find the top 10 influencers within students and rights and this, this, this fight they're doing, and they say that the, the coalition, um, uh, approach these influencers saying the coalition has done much much research uh, across the country and you have been identified as one of the top influencers and we have we've chosen you to be someone we would love to work with and i mean should we should we kind of spin the angle on this that they've been chosen because they're one of the top influencers sure. and students around the country really want their support and, and make it that way do you think it would be do you think their ego would be um, appreciated yeah, to that? Yeah, sure. I think, that they, I, think, I think that's a great way to go about it. And then you'll just see their responses, right? Like some of them will be like, oh, yeah, of course. They'll feel like really grateful that you identified them and they'll do it. Some of them will be like, sure, but it'll be 100 bucks uh, for a post. I mean, th that, you know, but I think that that is a good approach to say, like, we've identified you. We've recognized you as a leader. Um, in this movement. We, the students across America with the COVID-19, you know, coalition have chosen you to, to be featured sure. with us. Would you help us and share the message? Blah, blah, blah. Sure. That, that sounds great. Okay. And then I'm the sorry. Other, go ahead. No, that's great. And the other thing that I, that I would say is like, you guys can leverage um, a couple different things. Number one, Facebook advertising, because you can target students in different cities, like, and then you can make a video that says like, if you're, a, if you're a college student or if you're a graduate student or if you're a law student in Indianapolis, Indiana, this message is for you. If you feel like you have been ripped off or you feel like you have been, uh, you're, you're, the money you're paying has not been put to good use, then I want you to watch this video. And then you can literally, like maybe you have 200 members in your Facebook group, excuse me, or 300 members, and you can ask everybody for three, four, five dollar donations. Um, and then you all of a sudden have eleven hundred, fifteen hundred dollars of marketing budget you can start spending on Facebook advertising. You can get in front of for about seven dollars. You can get in front of about thousand people, and that are targeted people. There are students that live in Indianapolis, Indiana, um, that are current college students or law students or graduate students. So you know that your outreach is is, is targeted, right? And then so so then I would say like we just have a very simple ask for you. There's no money involved. It's just literally sign this petition. We want to get ten thousand signatures so we can go to Congress and ask them to pass a bill, blah 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 blah, or whatever the case may be that you're asking for. And that's where Thomas is gonna be able to help you guys out with Washington and helping you get in front of the right people. But this is just to get that thing filled out. And then the final thing that I would say, and then I'm thrilled to answer any questions you guys have, is um do, do a lot of lives, like do a lot of Instagram lives, encourage the people that are in your, in your community, like the 200 people or the 300 people that you have in your Facebook now, or the thousand people that you might have in a week or the 10,000 people you might have in two to two weeks, encourage them to start spreading this message and to start doing lives. And th those lives can be, 
them individually just doing a live. Those lives can also be uh, together doing like Thomas and I do a live. Let's say Thomas, has, you know, Thomas has 4,000 followers. I have 7,000 followers. Now all of a sudden we're in front of 11,000 people. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say I have 4,000 you have 7,000? Yeah, it's okay. You'll get there eventually. So, um, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot older than you. So I've had more time to build this. Um, so, so. So, so I would say that I would say do a lot of lives, do them with people, do them alone. But again, the lives, and this is what we were talking about yesterday. They have to be, they have to be very clear. Like we're doing this live because we want to bring awareness yeah. around the fact that we want people to sign this petition. And, and you say it several times because people come into the lives at different times. So you say it several times during the live, um, that this is your goal and this is what you're up to and this is what you want to do. And so those are my those are my sort of four things that I would have you guys do pretty quickly. And then the final thing is like make sure that all social media, whatever you guys are up to, make sure that it's really clear in the bio and in the description what you're doing. Like we're a coalition of students that are trying to get money back for our ex our changed experience because of co coronavirus. And then you say sign petition here with ten thousand people, we can make a change. Um, but that, like you know, from your LinkedIn to your Facebook to your YouTube, to all the stuff that you're up to, wherever you're wherever you're releasing content, make sure that that content is very clear as to what you're up to and what you want people to do. Which is sign the petition. So that that was my that was my spiel. I, I want to you know that's that's kind of my my advice on like what I would do if I were in your position leading this coalition. Happy to answer any questions you guys might have. Audrey, do you have any questions? I guess I'll kind of just piggyback, and I recently mentioned this to Josh as well. I think the live stream um, with different influencers and people across the country is such a fantastic idea. Um, I know from like previous campaigns that I've run um, social media for that. 5 p.m. is the peak period, and that's before people are busy with dinner, but after people have gotten off of work or whatnot. And I think that if we set a goal to um, launch a live stream at 5 p.m. daily uh, with an influencer, and I think we would get a ton of following. So I think that's a fantastic idea you brought to the table. I think it's really cool too, Audrey, like that the fact that the idea of doing it every day at the same time. Of people expect consistency it. is really important it's a great point i forgot to mention like that i think that that is a really important thing you know mm -hmm. you, you can you can sort of that being said like you guys can regulate the the core like the you you six people right now like the core team here like you guys can be in charge of that 5 p.m thing but then encourage other people uh, that are in the network to go live whenever they want you know you can tell them consistency is great but like if you can't be consistent do it anyway and mm -hmm. uh and, and let them kind of let people feel like they have some creative control over uh, sharing the message as well. Great idea. Yeah. I think consistency is really important, yeah. Hey, Brian, if, sure. if, if these guys come up with a concept, I said to them that they've got to try to do some PSA, uh, they've got to do some little 60 second video that kind of talks about the petition, talks about who they are as a group, yep. and that it's moving. What do you recommend and how do you, how do you recommend they, they put this together? What, what do you see that in your mind? I think it can be easy. I think it can be very clear messaging, very quick. Like, hey, if you're a student and you're affected by Corona because you can no longer go to class, you can no longer live in your dorm, you can no longer enjoy the things that we're paying for, and you feel like you're being financially wronged, uh, we want you to sign our petition. We feel that way as well. Uh, we know that things happen. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think you want to make it like we hate the university, we hate the system. I think it's like, you know, things happen, but like the truth of the matter is online ed education is a heck of a lot cheaper than what we are paying for and we're not getting access to those services and so, um, and those benefits. And so if you feel wronged and you want your money back this semester, or if you want at least credit to next semester, we're making that happen, but we need your help. We need you to sign this petition today because if we can get 10,000 signatures, we can get a chance of getting in front of, I'm making that number up, but we can get a chance of getting in front of somebody that can actually help us get our money back. Sign up, share, and please make sure that you send this to everyone you know that's a student and have them sign. Guys, the most important thing is sign, 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 sign. Thanks. Have a great day. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Boom. That's it. Mm -hmm.
And I think that's really important, especially with the boosting and not only for like the live streams and the, the other social media content to boost that PSA and get in front of all these different people in all these different cities around the nation. It's just going to be so important because it conveys everything that we need. And you don't really need to have to have all these different things to boost each time. That's right. And, and, keep recirculating and, and, and recirculating it. That's right. And then, and then guys, the PSA, yeah. like whatever you decide to do for the PSA or the video or the written article or the content, whatever, when you run a Facebook ad, they give you op different options for what you can select as uh -huh. the call to action button. And here it should be like sign up now, right? So that people hit the button and then that button goes directly to the petition itself. Mm -hmm. Or learn more, whatever. I don't like whatever button makes sense for you, but like that button directly goes to the, to the, it's, it doesn't go to your group. It doesn't go to your page. It goes to, directly to the petition. Uh -huh. I think uh, I think Brian brought up a very important point, though, the fact that we're not trying to target any specific administrations. And I think that's that's one of the things we have to make sure is happening this whole time. If we see anybody specifically targeting administrations, um, we just have to be really wary of that. And like the comment sections and things like that as we uh -huh. go through with this, because we want to make sure that we're, we're we're approaching this in a manner that says, you know, we're willing. We want the you know, the administrations to be willing to talk with us. Just like, you know, we're, we want the, uh, the to be willing to approach this problem as well. We don't want to really burn any bridges with this. And I think that's kind of been a concern of mine since the beginning. Yeah, I think, uh, it's, I think it's just like, I think it's a super fair ask, right? Like you're, you're not, you're not blaming anyone. It's, this is no one's mm -hmm. fault, but at the same time, it is a reality you're dealing with. And if okay. you're paying $50,000 a year to have friends and classes and access to the study halls and access to the computer labs and access to all the extracurricular activities, and now you're stuck in your apartment doing online classes, it's a very different experience. And I think that universities probably are recognizing that. And, you know, maybe you even want to talk to the universities and, and the, the, the people in charge and say, like, listen, we want to work with you. We feel this way. We're about to mobilize a grassroots effort. Um, a lot of students are going to join us. We'd love to be working with you to figure out how we can figure this out internally as well, because maybe universe, maybe there's a university that wants to take the lead, and maybe it's your university that says, like, you know what, you're right, Josh. Like, this is this is something, and we've thought about this. And what if we you put together your coalition and we bring it together to three professors or the administration or the deans or whatever, and let's talk about a solution that feels good, and then all of a sudden that becomes something you guys talk about. Like, we're really, that's good brand for the university as well. Like, we're really proud of what the university's done. Um, maybe you can also here's how we've enrolled and enlisted our university um you know high level people to be able to help us with this maybe you guys can do it as well and also sign the petition so there's a lot of different ways you can do this at, without placing blame because it's not really the university's fault that this exactly. happened exactly but exactly it, it, there it, it, you have been wronged in some way so one of the things i wanted to ask you especially with the social media influencers is that you talked about having them on the live stream yeah. So if we're doing one every single day at five, yep. and we're trying to target some of the top people in social media that are advocating for these kinds of efforts, for example, if we went with Rock the Vote, we'd find the person that advocates the most for them, or Charlie Kirk, like Turning Point USA, just, just to have these people that are active in student reform. You don't think that that's going to get expensive after a while? They, they might not charge you at all. Yeah. Like, guys, the thing you have to understand is right now people have time. Like, this has never happened before. Like doing a conference call at eight o'clock at night on a Friday for, and every single person showing up, like that wasn't something that was like a reality for, for a lot of people. And right now we're here and like doing it. So people have time. And I think that what Corona has done for people is it, it's really, it's really given people a sense of like, we were, everyone's trying to join in whatever ability and skills that they have, right? Is, they're trying to give back. They're trying to give as much as they can. And so, you know, that that's, that's what I'm trying to do with you guys right now. Like I'm just trying to help as much as I can. And I think everyone's trying to do that in their own way. Doctors, you know, comedians, musicians, like all these things are happening right now. Lots of live things are happening right now from people's homes because they're, uh -huh. wanting, they're trying to contribute in any way they can. So that being said, a lot of these organizations, I don't think will charge you at all to support you. Yeah. Brian, what do you think? What, how do you feel about bringing on like, um, elected officials or any any, any uh, sort of like government official sure on one of the if, they'll, if, if, if they're willing to talk about it sure why not you can use yeah, that as, I definitely know, like, are you thinking of matt and 
senators and stuff, I think sure. would probably you can use really them as leverage speak to directly. Yeah. yeah, and you can. Use them. I think another thing um, we each have a unique sphere of influence that we can target into. Like even us, like people are the our followers look at us as we're credible sources. They know us. So us starting the live stream, even getting followers from there, um, and then moving. So now we have like a hundred, a two hundred, three hundred followers just by our resources, and then go on and say, reach out to those bigger influencers. Um, because now they see like, wow, this page already has hundreds of followers and they just started. Um, and then yeah, also like those representatives that we know, the senators. Um, just congressmen that we know that we can personally reach out to, who again see us as credible sources and would want to join our fight. Yep. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Good. Uh-huh. No, I agree. I like it all. So I think uh, the point on keeping everything on point and streamlined is beneficial. Keeps it's not gonna it's gonna keep people kind of in blinders and focused on the mission instead of getting off on tangents. Uh, I think wow. doing the live streams is beneficial. Uh, I also think uh, reaching out to some senators if we can. I know there's a senator from Washington that has proposed a legislation that kind of is around uh, the same or has the same goals and uh, ideas that we're kind of pushing. So I think it would be beneficial if we can reach out to her uh, and see what she has to offer as support uh, and kind of just go from there. And here's the other thing Tyler, too. Like Tyler, the other thing is like, that you know that strategy is really cool and it it gets even more exciting like and this is kind of to your point too audrey like it gets even more exciting once you actually start getting more and more people involved right like right. once you get three thousand signatures because you guys have done 28 lives um it's a lot easier to engage people like you can the, the senator conversation is like hey senator like we in the last eight days have gotten three thousand signatures. We want to we want to do a live with you because this is obviously important to constituents around the country. And then like right. once Audrey gets three hundred of her people on online, you can then go to an influencer and say like this is growing. It's at six hundred students right now. Rock the vote obviously wants to get to students. Maybe there's some overlap. Maybe not. Maybe you guys are going to get exposure to new people. We're growing pretty quickly, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the other thing is like, you know, using those numbers. Um, to, to energize the students that are in the group as well. Like guys, you know, I would take a screenshot every week of the number of followers. And then like, maybe that's, and that's a post on social media every week. I've been, uh-huh. I've been updating on Facebook, like every time we hit a, like a new milestone, like I did the first hundred followers, the first yeah. few followers. Awesome. I was gonna do it again at 500 when it doubles and then just keep going from there, so. We can do the same thing with the petition and stuff too, once we start yeah. getting our marks with that. Yeah. 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 And I know looking like at our Instagram analytics will be like super helpful as well. Yeah. The yeah. other the other suggestion I was going to kind of do to get people, because um, you got a lot of people, you know, following the Facebook page, coming onto the petition and things like that. We should do while we're looking for these uh, social media influencers, we should all do like a little introduction thing where like maybe even Audrey, if you want to like interview like each one of us and then we could just post one of those each day of saying like why we wanted to get involved, why we wanted to create this sure. so that now people have like some sort of connection to like who we are and what this foundation is it'll make it a little personal like that first week that's awesome that's awesome and then i would even i would even take it another step anthony i would even do like that and then i would ask every new member to send a 30 second clip and then you guys post those and then tag them so like all of a sudden like that's unlimited content that you guys don't even have to curate like that's just like all of a sudden your WhatsApp is blowing. Like you know you're getting 13 new 30 second videos every hour, and then you just have like Audrey or whoever's running social. Like you just have the, that gets uploaded, tagging them. They reshare it. Then all of a sudden their 699 contacts are aware of this campaign, and you're like, hey, we want, we want. We, this is these are the faces of the coalition, and then it's like mm. you know if you get like 10,000 new 30 second videos, like that's like wow, you know. And maybe, and maybe, and guys, maybe you want to do something like, what is, like, what is your tip? You know, maybe you want to make it more even around wellness. Like, what is your tip to staying mentally, uh, you know, mentally healthy during, during this? And, t- you know, tell us who you are, where you live, where do you go to school? And what is your favorite thing about being, you know, isolated right now? Like, what are you doing to fill your time? What's the most exciting thing for you? Then all of a sudden it becomes like also a little bit interesting. You know, it's not just like, hey, I'm Josh, I go to Indiana, and blah, 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 blah. It's like, hey, I'm Josh, I go to Indiana right now. I've actually never been hitting the gym harder in my life. My favorite new exercise is to fill up my my 18 liter water bottle with sand. And now I have my home at, at home gym set. And like, he has a sand, you know, a sand water bottle. And then, you know, it's like fun. Like, you know, so that I would, that, stuff like that I would think about. Mm. 
<clears throat> yeah, and it puts our members in a spotlight too, which I'm sure exactly, they love. Exactly, exactly. It's like, it's like exactly. a real community. Because like, like one of the things that, that, I, that I found today, somebody DM'd us on Facebook from the University of Georgia, and she shared our story with us, but if we could have like a 30 second clip of that, Yep. that's a heartbreaking story that's really going to gain a lot of notoriety and attention yep. yeah. and then obviously like these people like these people we just we just feel like we're left out and maybe and, you, and maybe what's you, so nice about it is we give them the voice absolutely and that allows us to do more of that and josh maybe you get two or three stories that you think are like really really unbelievably powerful and then all of a sudden you start pitching that to, to local press and media right yeah. like we're a coalition we're doing this thing take a look at this story if you think this is like if you think this is as important as we do We'd love to come on your TV show. We'd, we'd love yeah. to do a remote, you know, podcast. We'd love to do satellite. We'd love to do whatever. That, that, like, then you start to co actually collect stories. And, you know, it's funny, like, you know, this, have you guys ever read the book, The Humans of New York? Have you ever seen that, like, Humans of New yeah. York? It's like all these images of New York's, of New Yorkers, of people, of people in New York City. You guys could even, mm -hmm. like, turn this into, like, students of Corona. And, like, with, you know, that could down the line mm -hmm. become a platform for you guys to actually do speaking engagements. Yeah. And, like, you know, go around different universities and, like, talk about, like, what matters to students. And, you know, yeah. like, there's so many opportunities. You could write a book about it. Like, it, this could turn into a book for you guys in 12 months. So I would just say have some fun with it and make people feel involved. Like you're saying, Audrey, like, that's right. Like, make people feel like they're a part of it. And um, like I can already tell from the, just the energy of you guys in the group, like you guys are off to an amazing start. It's gonna go super well for you. The most important thing I think is, and I'm gonna repeat it for like the fifth time, just make sure people know what you want them to do. Because otherwise, if it turns into like too many stories and things, it's like, oh, these are just students like that are bored during Corona giving testimonies about what they're up to. And you're gonna miss the point of like, we need like, so across every video, at the end of every video, on every post and every caption, it's like, please join us, sign our petition so that we can get some money back for our students. I think the uh, the human the New York idea, I really like for the Instagram account, that'd be a great way for us to use, utilize Instagram, just have like a different post of a different student every day. And then use like Facebook for like the live updates and things like that. Telling but use their, the Instagram telling their stories. Really like doing it that way, with, like as a students of Corona. Like I'm living in a laundry room now because my student dorm was closed. I have nowhere to go. I'm from China. I, I can't go back. I'm like I'm living in a laundry room right now. I have no yeah. friends. I'm, I have no family. I'm living in a laundry room, and I'm still paying full tuition. Doesn't doesn't feel fair. Yeah. You know, like I, th those yeah. kinds of stories. Mm -hmm. I can think of students just from our, our, we had a town hall with our school today. Yeah. It would be great. For well, that. the other thing too, for that, to that point, Anthony, I would be recording everything like the town hall today. You should be, you should have recorded on your iPhone. Okay. From well, now we'll on, you guys all record all everything like, you know, like, yeah. right. So for example, right now, literally right now I'm recording this zoom on my phone. I'll turn mm -hmm. it into a blog, a vlog and I'll put it out on my social media for you guys. And okay. so it's like repurposing everything that you guys do because there's only five of you and you're yeah. taking on a full-time job for no pay. And you're also trying to go to school and trying to stay sane and trying to connect, stay connected to loved ones. Like use your time efficiently and yeah. you know, we're, save this zoom. I hope you're recording it, save it, upload it, it, you know, take the, take the video out, upload it to your social media. Like here, like here's what we, here's how we're brainstorming this idea. Who else has ideas? Like what are your other ideas? Yeah, actually, the town hall today is recorded, so we can we can Perfect. actually pull that pull clips. Yeah. You know, if it's a thirty-eight minute thing, pull thirty-eight one-minute Instagram clips. Yeah. Also, what is your Instagram so I can I'm, connect with you? Yeah, sure. I'm at Brian Rashid Global. B R I A N R A S H I D Global. Okay, oh, my, fantastic. Let me. I'll write it here for you. I just realized that my name here is like my somehow Apple spelled my name wrong in my computer. Let's see. <laughs> so there's me there yeah so i think you know i think that's that's kind of like what i would do i'm um do you, i'm happy to, is there any other questions i think you gave us a lot of great information so far yeah i can't think of anything else that i would need at this time to right. get us off well let me know josh you have my number like shoot me a voice memo uh -huh. whatever you need let me know i i i feel for you guys i i 
I know how expensive college is. It, it breaks my heart how expensive college is. And that's when you like get all the perks of college. So right. having the price tag and then none of the perks is even more heartbreaking. So anything I can do to help, I'm, I hope this was, was useful. And uh, Josh, anytime, let me, let me know what's going on. And, and connect with me guys on social and let's, let's continue the conversation. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Thank you, Brian. You're awesome. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Best Brian. of luck with everything. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Right. Cheers.